Good evening, everyone. Happy Friday, and welcome to the wind down, where we are gonna wind right on down with y'all. We are. What are y'all having tonight to drink? Can you comment and tell us? Mm. Is that good? Yeah. <laughs> That's a nice healthy yeah, pour. Yeah, yeah. I'm very excited yeah. about this. <laughs> Got some Josh wine to drink up today. Oh, it would be tragic if I spilled these on this, these would. pants right now. I probably should be. have done it. <laughs> <laughs> Make for good television though, I think. All right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Let's try this. Mm. It just goes down too easy. Yep. <laughs> you know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna drink a lot and talk finance. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and we're gonna dive really deep into these topics. Yep. Um, so the first thing we are gonna talk about today is children's birthday parties. And, and birthdays. And birthdays, mm -hmm. and the expenses that are associated with those days. Um, and I actually looked this up online and mm -hmm. apparently like the average party or mm -hmm. you know whatever you do for your birthday is it's between three to four hundred dollars right um but it can go up to like well really anything right i mean we're gonna be talking about the i don't want to like i don't know i don't want to like give anything away but we're gonna be talking about the kardashians <laughs> later <laughs> um and who knows how much those parties cost well for you've their children. seen they would like air their the birthday parties that their kids were having uh -huh. and those had to have been like cl close to a million dollars right at least although so i'm depends. sure as part of i'm sure they use their influencer status to get some of that stuff for free as like marketing collateral that's the for, annoying thing is yes. the rich people get all the free stuff yes and the people that don't have the money we don't get nothing free mm -mm. you know no. um no. but i i literally just planned my mm -hmm. it wasn't a huge event but I, because we were going to talk about this today, and I just had my daughter's first birthday on Thursday, mm -hmm. I went back and I looked at my expenses to see how much I spent in total, mm -hmm. and it was just a little bit over 150 Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, it wasn't. And I actually, to be honest, I was really mindful about what I wanted it to be celebratory and special. I really did. Yeah. And I put a lot of thought and work into it, but I also knew, like, she's one right you know what i mean the first birthday is definitely for the parents right yeah. and the photos that yeah, you yeah. have not i wanted her to have a good day you right. know i was like i'm gonna do things to she likes activity she likes mm -hmm. getting out of the house i was like so we took her to the zoo oh you know she i mean she loved it who doesn't love animals <laughs> she like loved it <laughs> um did the smash cake and i had some decorations in the house which she loved as well um destroyed most of them but um yeah standard <laughs> But I, you know, I found like an entire thing of um, decorations that included so much on, on Amazon Prime. Yep. I did for like $10. Yeah. And it was, it like filled up the whole space, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And that was like a big chunk of like what I did. And then I got her some gifts and I spent the most on her little Christ uh, Christmas, <laughs> oh, sorry, wine, on her birthday outfit. So she had a cute little Aww. outfit. Still wasn't even that much, but you know. Right. Yeah. Well, I am cheers to you for only spending 150. Thank you. That is really impressive. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Yeah. This uh, this topic is also very top of mind to me. I know this. Um, because our daughters are two days apart. Yeah. <laughs> and some years, but um, yep. we had her fourth birthday party a couple weeks ago. Uh huh. And I think similar to like. Her first birthday, we had people over the house. It was very mellow. Right. Um, but then her second and third birthdays were both in quarantine. Like, literally, her birthday, the first year, was the first day that everything was locked down. So, so wait, was that her... That was her second, second birthday. birthday. So okay. we couldn't do anything much. And frankly, I wasn't prepared because... There was a lot of other stuff going on and right. she didn't really remember. So I didn't spend that much on that birthday either. Right. Um, we had a Minnie Mouse theme, so I'd gotten some decorations. We had, you know, cake at home. Right. It was just my mother-in-law and us. <laughs> we almost had a party yeah. ball right here on the wind down. <laughs> um, so it was just really mellow. And then last year, similar, we just had family and right. we brought cupcakes into her school. Mm -hmm. um, I also got Amazon 
Oh my god, last year, I'm not gonna kid I'm not kidding you. I got one of those like balloon packages through Amazon, blew everything up myself, um, with the help exactly. of my husband. That's exactly what I did. Um, like tacked it all up, used the just like, lightheaded. Yeah, lightheaded. <laughs> did it all during her nap yep. time. So when she woke up from her nap, it was all there. It was animal themed. Mm -hmm. And um Man, that was like the best fifteen dollars I've ever spent because those balloons, some of them are still around. Seriously, and not not helium, but like you did it yourself. You did it DIY. yourself. DIY. That's so funny because that was something that I saved on. Uh -huh. I almost I almost bought a helium tank right. off of Amazon, and then I saw it was sixty four dollars, yeah. and I thought, no. <laughs> I said I can. I don't need them to float in the sky. Yeah. I'll blow no. them up myself mm -hmm. and, and I'll just put, stick them. I'll stick them to the wall, yeah, you know, totally. and that's exactly what I did. But mm -hmm. you know, $64, that's a decent chunk of change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you're on a budget of three to 400 on average, mm -hmm. that takes away a big chunk yeah. of helium. Like that's not fun. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, it makes it a little easier, right. I will say, but yeah. <laughs> But I will say this year, so she's turning four, she has friends at school right. in a bigger way. Yeah. Yeah. People are actually celebrating things a little bit more often. We've been to other birthday parties. Right. She kind of knows what's going on. Right. She wants to celebrate. She like really wanted to celebrate this year and have a birthday party. Yeah. And at her school, you don't have to, but you are encouraged to invite the entire class. Which is great. Like, I think that's very inclusive. Not that everybody came, but most most of the kids came. Yeah. Plus some, you know, older siblings, mm -hmm. plus parents, plus so, some outside friends. So, so we you had, had to consider food and for all of these people. Mm -hmm. And wow. So right. we had 18 kids mm -hmm. plus, you know, the parents. Right. And we also, like, didn't go someplace. We had it at the local park. We brought our own food. Yeah. We got an Amazon package. We had a we had a mashup theme this year. It was a Elsa oh, unicorn mashup. So, so lots, specific. Lots like, of pink I want and Elsa sparkles and, and blue. Unicorns. Right. <laughs> she specifically asked for a pin, pinata that was. Elsa riding a unicorn, and I said, honey, we aren't going to be able to find like that. I, I am not a Kardashian spending $300 on a pinata. Right. We got a unicorn pinata. Good job. Suffice. Yes. It's... Um, she named it Elsa, so like, that worked <laughs> out. <laughs> smart girl. Very smart. She's like, I'll make this work. Yeah. <laughs> and it was great. And little kids are like just... They're so happy to be together, and they just ran around the And they create their park. own fun, they were, don't Yeah, they? exactly. Just... So we didn't do too much. But we've had other friends who, um, you know, and our, my budget was $300 without her gifts. Mm -hmm. We went a little bit over that. Yeah. Um, mostly because of the food. And yes. We provided, <laughs> and food we, costs we, are and, on the rise. As and we, we provided know. adult beverages for the adults. So nice. that like, you know, which makes yeah, the party. Yeah, made it more fun. of a party for everyone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Kids are having a party. They get candy. Adults are having a party. They get booze. They get booze. That's right. Yeah. So it was a fun, like, little afternoon. Um, she had a great time. Mm -hmm. But it is just a lot more expensive these days. It, it really is. And as easy as Amazon is, it also sort of, because it's so easy, mm -hmm. it makes you go there to simplify your life and just get things from Amazon, right? right? Yeah. And I was thinking back to when I was a kid and how my mom handled birthdays. And I really, like, appreciate her approach mm -hmm. thinking back on it now. She was completely DIY, um, really you creative, had to be, right? Yeah. And she, but what she would do. And I remember we had these like themes to our birthdays that we could count on every year. She would create this really ridiculous birthday hat that would like tower really high to the sky with weird at home things that would, and you would wear it and you'd sit at like, you know, the head of the table. And then for my birthday, I always wanted a cupcake decorating party. So she'd have, she'd make the cupcakes. Amazing. Different colored icing, different toppings. And then you decorate your own cupcake. And then she would create a pin the tail on the donkey, take a big piece of paper. Uh -huh. She was an artist too. So I mean, okay. that helped. Okay. But she would draw the donkey and then give you, make a tail thing, put a blindfold on. And ha you know, we would just, it was all like games that she created that felt mm -hmm. like the most expensive thing you could like, you know, yeah. I never felt like I was losing out on something. I, it, it felt like the richest, you know, yeah. experience like, ever. Right. 
Um, and l looking back on that now that I have a kid, I'm like, oh, I want to implement that mm -hmm. as they get older because there's something, um, I don't know, like nurturing and sweet about the hands-on component of it too. Yep. And the thought that like your parent is putting in and, you know, and just being creative, mm -hmm. you know. Oh, for sure. And I think that there's definitely, I had similar things. My... Mm, my parents, it was always a tradition that whatever theme we had chosen, mm. my mom would bake the cake because she is the good chef in the family. Right. And then my dad would decorate it. And he, I wouldn't, he doesn't call himself an artist, but he says he's a draftsman. I don't know what <laughs> the difference is. His word's not mine. But he would do a really great job. Like, you know, whatever, like I remember in my mind, I had a Minnie Mouse neon themed party one year. I love the themes kids come up with. <laughs> right? <laughs> and Minnie Mouse was like in neon spandex because, you know, hashtag it was the 90s. <laughs> Which is back now. So right? there's going to be Minnie Mouses exactly. in spandex. And yeah, like neon spandex <laughs> everywhere. And he took the design that was like on all the plates because we, you know, um, like the paper plates that we were using. Yeah. And he transferred that using icing and made the design on the top of the cake. So oh, your cool. cake matched your um, design of your party. So Something cute. I cannot do. Right. Wish that I could. Um, but like it's a very special memory. And like mm. that was every year was that that was one of the bigger things, at least in my mind, was that the cake was made by my mom. So it tasted awesome. And then right. it was decorated by my dad, which was awesome. Mm -hmm. um, and, but it was DIY, essentially. So yep. it cost them, you know, a lot less than paying for a cake. Mm -hmm. I have a girlfriend who just had um, her daughter's par party and paid $250 for the cake. Right. And I'm like, oh. Yeah, but, I mean, it depends on what your budget is. And it looked fabulous. Of course. Um, right. Just not what I want to spend. I know. Not where I want to spend my budget for the party. Well, and I think back on it, I think if, you know, my mom just picked up the cupcakes at VG's, which mm -hmm. was our local grocery store in Owasso, Michigan, um, I don't think that I would have held on to the memory in the same way. Right. Where it was so hands-on and so, like, we were all sort of involved mm -hmm. in, in a sense that, yeah. like, it's such a strong memory in my head that I want to, like, continue, you know, on with my kid. So, right. Yeah. And, and I save money. Yeah. You save money. <laughs> I think that there is, so... And then if you don't have the time to plan and do the DIY stuff, you mm. can certainly pay to have it done. Either you pay vendors to make a cake or you can go to one of these like mm -hmm. discovery zone, jump zone sort of situations, mm -hmm. Chuck E. Cheese's of the world, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But then you're paying per kid and then that can get really expensive. Like you can spend easily a thousand dollars on a kid's birthday party. Yeah. Um, I say just give them a couple of flags and say, capture the flag time. <laughs> Time to go outside. That costs zero dollars. <laughs> we did that as well. <laughs> we had an Olympic, I had an Olympics themed party one year. Oh, that's cool. So, and you love the Olympics. Yeah. So this and dates I love back. the Olympics. Yeah. Okay. And it was like everybody competed and we mm. there were like bronze, silver, and gold medals that's a good for different for events. A birthday party. Yeah. I mean, it was great. It was, it was just like, games. It was just it? games. Yeah. And we lived across the street from what ended up being my middle school. And so we had like the playground to use because of the weekend. Nobody was there. Yeah. And yeah, we used the entire playground for all, like there was an op, they did an obstacle course, which was like all around the jungle gym. Yeah, yeah. You know, it was the eighties. It was great. I, I mean, I think <laughs> sort of in like in today's world that mm -hmm. we're living in, sometimes we don't take the time to be as creative and think mm -hmm. about what we can just kind of do with what we have. Right. Um, because everything's so accessible. Right. You know? And so we're quicker to go on Amazon and say, oh, I need this. I'm just going to do this. Right? Um, and I, that's something I want to be, like, actively more mindful of mm -hmm. because there are things you just don't need to spend any money on. Right. And you can make it just as special. And that's something I want to consider moving forward when it comes to birthdays and, and, and things like that because mm -hmm. I can I can I can be a consumer. Yeah. I mean it's easy to I spend love the celebration. Money. And I think, you know, one of the things is that you're either paying for doing a birthday party with your time mm -hmm. in a DIY sense yeah. or your money in paying somebody else to do the things that you want to do. Right. 
Um, and sometimes when you are doing it DIY, there also feels like there's such a pressure mm -hmm. to make it look Pinterest worthy or Instagram worthy. And really, your kids don't care. It's really right. much more, you just, do whatever your kid wants to do, I mean, within reason, but you know, just you make, make it, it a special fun day. for them. Just make a fun day. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, we are going to take a quick commercial break and then we're going to be right back to talk about Kim K. Mm -hmm. So you're going to want to stick around for that. <laughs> See you in a sec. Welcome back, everyone, to the wind down. All right. So we're going from birthday parties for mm -hmm. our kids to Kim Kardashian. Mm, yes. She's a hot topic in the news right now, isn't she? She is. So she had an interview with Variety and um, they asked her what advice she would give to women um, Ugh, on this, business. This makes me sweat. And <laughs> her quote was, I'll clean it up a little bit, was get your effing blank up and work, um, it seems like nobody wants to work these days. Which, you know, I don't... She works really hard. Literally every aspect of her life is commercialized. I don't doubt that she is constantly working and is a hardworking mm -hmm. individual, but I think that that advice is a bit problematic to the average woman who doesn't have a team of employees to do all of her bidding right? Um, or I, make her dreams come reality. And I feel like it is really easy to work when you're always coming from a place of wealth. Yes. Because you're never starting from like you're never starting from zero mm -hmm. where you're having to do all of these hustle jobs just to survive right. um, fighting towards a bigger goal. She, she landed in, in she land, you know, she landed in the big goal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, well, the big goal for a lot of people, like would be happy with what she had already. Like she wouldn't have had to have done anything and right. she would have been completely fine, but she had the financial backing to jumpstart any, any career she mm -hmm. wanted to do whatever she wanted. So for her to make that statement without acknowledging that she's coming from a place of extreme privilege mm -hmm. is I think incredibly inappropriate and a smack in the face to a lot of most people mm -hmm. who are actually working their butts off. Right. Um, yeah. Especially <laughs> women in a way that she will never understand. Mm -hmm. Even when it comes to, um, childcare being a stay at home mother. Um, I remember seeing videos of her over the pandemic, losing her mind because she had to take care of her own children mm. all day. I mean, so how hard are you working or does what you do just look different from what somebody else does? Right. Plus you get help. She gets help. This makes me heated a little bit, but she can get help in every single aspect of her life. Yeah. You know, if she needs a quick massage because she's exhausted from, you know, juggling all of the Things Balenciaga duct tape that she's wearing. Yes. Mm -hmm. She can call that in. You know, she uh, travel. She mm -hmm. can get anywhere by a, a private jet. I mean, there's there's so many things she doesn't actually have to think about. So when she, it comes to just focusing on making more money, money that you already had. Right. It's, of course, that's like, it's easy to be motivated mm -hmm. because there's no hardship, hardship in it, you know? Right. Like, you're never going to end up poor. You're never, you're not like fighting to keep food on your table for your family. Right. You're never going to have to worry about that. You're not worried about money while you're doing this. Yeah. You're not making the decision of, do I go to work to earn money or do I stay home and take care of my child because I can't afford to do both? Yeah. That's complete. It's two different yeah. worlds. They're not comparable. Yeah. And to speak to women like that from her place mm -hmm. of monetary privilege is, right. is, is, it's a horrible message. Mm -hmm. And, you know, unfortunately she has a lot of fans and I hope that I still people, don't understand. Well, especially after that, geez. I'm like, <laughs> take that with a grain of salt. I mean, clearly she just has a very skewed sense of reality, you know? Right. 
<laughs> and I, I mean, to that point, I almost, I wish that their reality show, which they have a new one, this is why she was giving the interview. After the huge, like, farewell, oh, we're done. You know. We can't do it anymore. We have you a new know. one on Hulu. We have a new one on Hulu, so we're they're paying paid. us more money. <laughs> yes. Um, you know, like, why not show when you're actually, I don't care about the family drama. Right. Show me you working hard. Right. Show me how, like, what your work ethic is about. Right. And, you know, sh because it is very different from mm -hmm. a lot of, you know, everybody has different work ethics, but a lot of women work really hard. Mm -hmm. She just has a lot of help. She doesn't have to run to the grocery store. She has five people to do that for right. her. Right, right. She, she can just focus on work 24-7 mm -hmm. if she wants to. If she wants to. And, and like you said before, I am sure she works her butt off. Mm -hmm. That very expensive butt. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes. I don't know that if I can say That very famous, that. expensive derriere she has. I couldn't help myself. Right. You know. It's, I mean, sorry, Kim. It's great. You have it's a great. It is fantastic. Behind, but, <laughs> but and I'm sure you work hard, but um, but it yeah, it, you're living in a completely different reality. Totally. It's a completely different reality, and you're not taking into account the factors that most people are up against. Right. When it comes to finances and the stresses that come along with it. Right. And you I know. mean, even when she started, so you know, her story is. She actually had a clothing, so she had a, a closet organizing business okay. for like celebrity kids. Like she did Paris Hilton's. She would also did resell of like f fancy bags and fancy um, clothing back in the day before, right. you know, her sex tape came out. And then she got a little bit more fame from that. And then right. she was able to catapult that into a reality show, mm -hmm. into everything that the family does these days. Mm -hmm. And look, she's a smart lady. She certainly knows how to monetize herself. Mm -hmm. And she definitely works hard. It's just a different situation. Yeah. 2.3 million women have left the workforce since 2020 um, because they have to make that decision on childcare or work, mm -hmm. my health or work. Mm -hmm. um, and they haven't been able to work because they have kids they have to take care of. They can't afford to pay for right. babysitters or nannies or one tutor for ki for every child. Yep. Um, and I just I, I would love to see her walk the, in the shoes of the average woman, right? Raising children. Mm -hmm. um, she and, should go on and life going swap. to work. Is that still a show? I know, right? <laughs> But I, you know, I'd love to see how how she could handle that. Right. You know, could you work that hard? Because mm -hmm. that's really hard. Yeah. That's hard work. Mm -hmm. You know, even if they're not making the money you're making and reaching the goals they would love to be able to reach, it's right the hardest work. You know. I would love to. Without be able all to... of the luxury and like the cars and the hair right. and the the stuff. And I think it's also interesting that. You know, the Kardashians feel like the first major influencers of this, you know, the realm that we're in right now, right? Mm -hmm. They're the ones who created this influencer culture in a way. Right. And now she's like kind of bagging on people for wanting to get into that influencer influencer culture where they're not working per right. se. They're working as an influencer, but not, you know, getting your traditional job. They were literally job, influenced because, by you. Yeah, and what, exactly. Like, I lo I'm like so, talking to her like she's listening to me. So it's a little bit <laughs> ironic in that sense. You, I know it really is. If anything, she should be saying, "Yeah, go for it." Yeah, that's what I did. Right. But no, instead she's calling everyone lazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean. Uh... So those are some fun thoughts on a Friday night. <laughs> yes. Over a glass of wine. I think we needed a glass of wine. I need. I needed a glass of wine for that last mm -hmm. one because boy, oh boy, oh boy, did that get me heated when I listened to that? I was like, "Are you kidding me?" Yeah. I actually thought she was smarter than that. Yes, they have such a curated sense of their um, lives to the press and to the public. Mm -hmm. I am very surprised that that quote was included in a. In, you know. Yeah. It a wasn't PR. smart yeah. marketing mm -mm. for them. I don't. I don't think. Yeah. But I'm sure many disagree. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. Well, I think that's a wrap mm -hmm. on the wind down. But 
We thank you all for joining us. And don't worry, we will be back next week with more wine and more topics to discuss. Mm -hmm. And we can't wait to see you there. Thank you for joining us. Cheers. Cheers.